What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through somewhat of a good adventure just to get here to Vermilion City, and, well, if you took a look right there, there's Je Officer Jenny. In our last episode, she actually gave us a good Pokemon, and that happens to be a Squirtle. Now, the only thing was, I didn't nickname this Pokemon, but... I think I've picked the, be the best nickname ever for this Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Leonardo. Yeah, buddy, look at this guy. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Okay, so here we have Leonardo the Squirtle, wonder type Pokemon. One foot, 15 pounds, and it does have a sassy nature and whatnot. And let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at its details right here. It does have tackle, tail whip, bubble, and withdrawal. And its stats are pretty fair right there. Um, the reason why I chose Squirtle over the other two uh, starter Pokemon was, eh, you know, I needed a very good water type Pokemon. And in this walkthrough right here, I kind of wanted to change it up with the the Pokemon that I have that I can that I can use and all that stuff. Plus, this game enables me to use other different types of Pokemon. That would have to be a Lolan Pokemon. So. The goal is to use one legendary, one Pokemon that uh, can Mega Evolve, and one Alolan form Pokemon, and then the rest, let's just pick something else right here. So, now, let's continue on our adventure right here. So here is Vermilion City, in all its glory, and, well, we're going to be taking a visit right here to uh, Nurse Joy right here. She's looking fine, as always, and she's going to be healing up her Pokemon because, hey, it's best to heal our Pokemon right now. Now, like I mentioned in previous episodes, not all these Pokemon are going to be uh, on my team permanently. Eventually, we're going to have one big old super team. Now, if you talk to this this guy, he's going to be like, even if Pokemon are the same level, that doesn't mean one is always strong as the other. But a weak Pokemon can get stronger than uh, 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 stronger the more candies you give them. Or so I hear. Wow, I almost hicked up, hiccuped right there. Now, let's see. It's true a higher level Pokemon are stronger. But all Pokemon have weaknesses, uh, weaknesses too, based on ty their types. Basically, you're gonna have to have you're gonna have a hard time finding one all-powerful Pokemon. I bet you anything, I have that one all-powerful Pokemon, which is probably Mew. I don't know. And Homeboy here is gonna be like, when my Pokemon was poisoned the other day, I, it's it healed its own poisoning, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry. It must love me lots, don't you think? Well, it's probably because if we walked. You know, I probably would have fainted or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and continue right here. Now, Vermilion City, near the ocean, you'll find a lot of stuff. You talk to this guy. If you're a new tra if you're new tra training Pokemon, you should give my place a little visit. It's an empty house, but I've rented it so people can use it as a place to gather and share tips. Hmm. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. Okay, so this is the place where you actually... Like, in the original games, you would actually get the old rod, but I don't think you get any rods in this game, so let's see what this guy has to say. You know, you have a better chance of catching a Pokemon with a Great Ball than with a Pokeball. Even then, it's not guaranteed catch, of course. This is very, very true. And let's see, when the ring's color is green, it means that Pokemon's ready to catch, right? When it's yellow, it's a bit harder, but when it's red, it becomes super hard. This is very, very true, and then... I fed a Nanan bear to a wild Pokemon, and it seemed to calm the Pokemon down. It stopped jumping around, so I was able to aim with my Pokeballs easily. Very, very true. So, let's go right ahead and uh, see some more stuff. Kind of like evolve my uh, my Leonardo, finally. Leonardo, mainly because I checked in my last few walkthroughs uh, for turtle Pokemon that I used for... Or Ninja Turtles, uh, nin or you know, Ninja Turtle names that I used for two turtle Pokemon. Leonardo happens to be the one I haven't used yet. I was kind of hoping I didn't use it, and thankfully, it, yeah, right here. So let's see, did you see the SSN? Or did you see it? The SSN uh, eh, is in the harbor right now. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else? Vermilion City, the Port of Exquisite Sunsets. And, well, we're just going to be running around right here. As you can see, this guy is actually still making a... Yep, we're still trying to see what kind of land this is going to be in all that crud. Talk to this guy. This is my land, all of it. I own, I own every in, or everything in this uh, square area here. 
I'm having my Pokemon use Bulldoze to prepare the site so I can rebuild, or so I can build something here. Build, build, build Bulldoze and stuff. And of course, here we have Machop. And it's stomping the land flat. Yes. Okay. Let's see, now... Now, this guy right here is a little special individual. You Wait, I, Pikachu's tail's wagging. There's an item right here somewhere. Which Pokemon do you prefer? The po puppy Pokemon Growlithe or the Scratch Pokemon, uh, Scratch, or Scratch Cat Pokemon Meowth? Now, if you answered Meowth, ah, you did have, you did, ha you didn't have the uh, to answer. I knew the answer. Sorry if it was a stupid question. If you catch five puppy Pokemon Growlithe, I'll give you a great Pokemon. You can ride on its back. Oh, hmm. How many Growlithe did I capture? I don't know, but I. But Pikachu's tail is wagging right here, and let's see. Okay, I'm trying to find something right here. Pikachu's tail is wagging here somewhere. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta figure that thing out right here. And as you can see, this kid has his own magic card, and he's like, some people or some Pokemon don't just want to walk with you. Some would rather give uh, their Pokemon a ride. I bet it would be pretty uh, great to take a ride with a Pokemon that could swim across the water or fly through the air. Which is a very good feature, eventually, you know, further along the line right here. Now, here we are into the Pokemon fan club. You talk to this guy, you see the picture right in the back, he's just a uh, majestic president and stuff. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon, I surely am. So. Did you come to visit, or did you come here, or did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yes. Oh, you see, my favorite Pokemon, my favorite Rapidash is the cutest. It's so cute and lovely and smart. It's almost too much to take. Plus, it's really amazing when you uh, when you stop to look at it, don't you think? Oh yes, it looks like it. It looks, its looks are stunning, and its uh, heart is so, so kind. You can't help but love it. And when you hug it right, uh, if when you have it, hug it tight when it's sleeping, it's so warm and cuddly. Plus, it looks spectacular, of course. Oh, and simply ravishing when. Oops! Look at the time. I kept it you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And we get ourselves a Pikachu set. And this is a new clothing line for Pikachu right here. It's a costume to set that you can use uh, to dress up your your partner Pokemon. You can change the via bag option in the main menu. Now look at that. We're finally able to see his uh, his Rapidash right here. My cute Rapidash. My adorable Pokemon in me. A title maybe. And my beloved Firo. Look at that. This guy really do. He, he really loves his Pokemon. And well, let's see. This Pokemon. Okay, so there's. I don't think there's anybody in here that will actually give you an item except for for the chairman. So let's move on right here and see what else is there. Let's see. Now, as you guys already know, there is a Pokemon gym. This guy right here is like, yo, gym in the making. Beyond this point is the Vermilion City gym. But you need to chop the tree down first. You don't know how to chop the tree? Hmm. Well, as I recall, the captain of the SSN was an expert of chopping trees. So that's a very, very good clue. Maybe we should find it, follow it, and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead in here. And this is the individual that you would actually trade for a Farfetch, but I don't think you're going to be trading at all. I'm particularly fond of bird Pokemon. Me and my partner Dukes here are going to go catch a Spearow soon. Well, there's Dukes. The Farfetch that we would normally get. So, yeah, they changed a lot of stuff in this game, guys. Lots of features. And, well, let's see. I think there's something else right here. If you talk to this guy, this thing here isn't for resting on, uh, resting your feet on, you know. It's for well, it's ty tying up your, t your boat, which is true. And let's see what this house has to offer. Has a Pidgey. Talk to her. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron City in the north. Let's see. There's the Pidgey. We might see it very. Uh, we might see it later on. Dear PP, 
I hope I can go see you soon. I've heard that Saffron City, uh, Saffron City is having lots of trouble with Team Rocket. Vermilion City seems safe for now. Hmm. Team Rocket. Again. And, let's see. Gee, I wish I could take a trip aboard the SSN someday. I can make a few new friends all over the world. This is, you know, you know, we could make friends all over the world, but, you know, eventually that might have to change sooner than later. Although, good old Draven does have friends around the world. It's all of you guys. That's right. Now, you continue on right here. You'll be going to the next route. And, let's see. There's a notice by the Vermilion Police. A sleeping Pokemon has been blocking the way on Route 12 lately. Detour through the rock tunnel if you need to reach uh, Lavender Town. Which we will be going to eventually. But right now, we're going to finish off this episode by going straight up to Route 6. Route, uh, Route 6 and 5. We're going to capture those 5 Growliths. Let's see. How many Growliths do we need? Let's see. We're going to find out what kind of poke Pokemon uh, he's going to give us. Let's see. There's one. Oh, wow. We only caught one. So, all right. Time to evolve our Pokemon. Time to capture some very, very good Pokemon right here. Where are you, Growlithe? I'm just going to be running around. or I'm, You know what? I'm probably going to be using a lure. I don't know. Either way, it's going to work. Where are you, Growlithe? There's a Jigglypuff. I'm going to capture that. Yes, guys. This episode's all about capturing Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a Jigglypuff. So, let's go ahead and throw that Pokeball. Look at that. Stay in the ball, Jigglypuff. You're mine. Yeah, buddy. Throwing out that peace sign, even though that's not the Pokemon we need to get. But it's a new Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Everybody's getting points, including Leonardo right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at this Jigglypuff. Uses its, its cute round eyes to entra or enrapture its foes. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. It's kind of like what happened to me. Except I ate 10 tacos. Again. Yeah. Totally worth it, guys. Totally worth it. And here's our Growlithe. So let's go ahead and try and capture this little bastard. Here's a tiny Growlithe. Let's go. Throwing that ball. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay oh, damn it. This Pokemon. Here we go. Throwing that again. And it's a great one. Come on. Stay in there. Come on. That's two. Alrighty. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling great. And we're getting a lot more experience points. Look at that. Our Pokemon growing levels. It's probably one of the best things that we can do right now. It's just, you know, grow Pokemon levels. I was thinking of doing that in the last, well, off screen. But I realized that, you know, we did capture, or we did get a Squirtle, and it would evolve. So I kind of didn't want to miss that on any recording right here. And, well... Let's go ahead and capture this uh, this uh, Jigglypuff right here. It's a huge Jigglypuff. Come on. Come on. Get over here. This Jigglypuff is driving me nuts. Come on. Go to the other side. Come on. Jigglypuff, don't be a dick. All right, it moved. And come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That a girl. Throwing that ball. Look at that. That's one, two, three. And there you go. Patience is key, guys. You don't have any patience, it's it's just gonna screw you over. So look at that. And Leonardo grows to level 17, and you guys already know what's gonna happen right here. This is the exact reason to why I waited just a little bit. Alrighty, after one episode, Leonardo, being the pimp it is, it becomes a brand new Pokemon. Kind of one of my favorite Pokemon too, War Turtle, just because it has war paint all the time. Look at that. Look at that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Alrighty. So going into the Pokedex right here. It's a little bit underwhet, but it's okay. When tapped on its head, this Pokemon will pull it in, but its, uh, but its tail will still stuck, uh, stick out a little bit. Okay. And, well, here we have another Jigglypuff, which is cool. 
Now, we got three more Growliths to go and capture, but I'm trying to find these guys. Okay, where are you, Growlithe? I don't want to use a lure. I really don't. Actually, I don't want to waste it for on three Growliths right here, so... Let's go right ahead and walk around. How have you guys been? How is your Saturday? I'm, I'm, this is currently, it's currently Saturday as I'm recording this, so I'm just going to be saying, how is your Saturday going? And would you look at that? I see a Pokemon that I kind of want to get. All right, you little bastard. It's you and me. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Come on. Where is you, Growlithe? Ah, crap, baskets. Okay, Screw it. We're going to have to use a lure. Alright. Yeah, we got three of those things. So let's go ahead and use this lure, and... It's kind of like a... It's kind of like, like a repel. The amount of steps you take, the Pokemon will appear, and... They are popping out right now. Okay, so that's another one. But that's those are not the Pokemon I want. Come on. There you are! Okay, let's go. Growlithe number three. Damn it. Let's go. Get in there. Stay in the Pokeball. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in there. Damn it. Okay. Let's go. Throw in this Pokeball right here. And look at that. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. That's three. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, okay, so there we go. More uh, experience points for all our Pokemon right here. And look at that, another Growlithe on the team. Now, I gotta find the, I gotta find a fourth one. Hold on. There you are! Get over here, you little bastard. Okay, so here we go, another Growlithe. Toss the sting. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! That's number four right there, guys. Alrighty. What a way to use this episode, just to teach you guys how to capture Pokemon. And look at that. Pokemon are growing like crazy right here. And a Jigglypuff. A Pokemon that I'm not going to use is, has grown to level 17. And look at that. It's a two-catch combo. Okay. We got one more. There it is. It's right next to those two Pokemon. And... Uh, Okay, let's do this. It is a huge Growlithe. Tossing this thing, and look at that. Two, three, let's go. Oh, damn. All right, you're gonna you're gonna make me work for this one. There we go. Two, three. Oh, damn it. Okay, it really is making me work for this. So I'm gonna throw in a berry right here. There you go, and get in that Pokeball. Alrighty, two, three, and there it is, guys. Caught myself the fifth Growlithe right here. There we go, that's a good Pokemon right there. And we get extra items with this guy, and our Pokemon, of course, are growing levels like crazy. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, look at that. And Scyther, of course, grows levels too. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. It is a very, very big Pokemon. Holy crud. Okay, so... It looks like, to me, this is the Pokemon I want to have on my team. I was thinking of using Growlithe on my team, so... I think we found him. And, well, there is a good waste of a... A Repel, or not a Repel, but a, a Lure. There we go. Okay, so, let's go ahead and add that little... That little guy onto our team right here. Again, we're going to be switching off Pokemon every single time. This is the guy that we need to move. So, let's see. We're just going to... Let's go right here. We're just going to put him right here. Actually, let's put him... We're going to add him to the party right here. So, we'll take out Jigglypuff. And we're just going to move him to the main stage right here. That way we don't get confused of where it's at. So, for right now, we're going to put him where uh, Dratini is. Because eventually we're going to have Dratini on our team. Not right now, because eventually it's going to get to level 30 and it's going to be all bad and stuff. So, let's go right ahead and go back to the individual right here. 
that will give us a cool Pokemon. And it, here he is. Oh, you caught five Poke po five Puppy Pokemon. As I promised, take this great Pokemon. We got ourselves a Persian. Oh, look at that. And look at this. This Persian right here is pretty awesome. The gem on its forehead glows on its own. It walks with the with all grace and elegance of a proud queen. Huh. Okay, so now after getting that, he's gonna be like, when the when the cute scratch Pokemon or cat Pokemon evolves, it looks like this. <laughs> it's a cute it's cute as ever. Persian is the best. Hmm. Why did I make you catch puppy Pokemon and give you a scratch cat Pokemon? Because I wanted to see if your preference would stay the same. Even after seeing so many Growlithe. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Eventually, he's going to give us something else uh, in the next one. So, let's see. I think there is a little something right here that... Actually, no. I don't think you can ride on the on the, on a Persian right there. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going into the SSN. And, well, we're going to be taking care of business right there. Get something to chop up some wood. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the next episode is going to consist of. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.